What's going on you guys? Joe Hayes here and today we are going to be looking at inside of a Red Vision X series camera. That one. If we can see properly. Hey, there we go, that's better. This one has a nifty little wiper on. Which the wiper motor is Oh, the wiper motor is there and these are lights here there is a the wiper motor the little belt there I do love if we can get to it. If this camera wants to focus, I do love the little silica gel bracket and the silica gel. Oh, while we're at the back, let's have a look at the board. Interesting little board layout. There's the fan. And there are the lamp controls for the infrared. This is the IR infrared model. They do make one with the, this is also the 30 times zoom model with the digital zoom. And down here, I'm not sure where the heater is, but it does have a heater according to the menu. Down there, is the dip switches for the address and protocol and board rate. This one is currently running Pelco D. At 9600 board rate. And there's the wiper blade. Which is still on. We'll turn that off now. It's all controlled by that joystick, and there is a picture, if we can get this thing, show the infrared now. That's the silica gel, you don't hear it when this is on. That's the head, it's just, excuse my cup of coffee there, just six Allen bolts. <laughs> right, what do we have here then? I'm not sure where the heater is, but I know where the, we certainly know where the fan is. Where the heck is the heater? There's the camera. There's the camera. Uh, that is the tilt motor, according to the bolt. Oh, it's warm. Pretty hot. That's the tilt motor, according to the board. And then the next one along is a wiper motor. I take it that's just a ribbon cable coming from the camera or going from the board to the camera there is a silica gel wow don't you just love the way these camera companies put silica gel in the pan motor will be inside there which I'm not going to take off because that would mean taking the arms off which would probably just bugger everything up and um, we don't want to do that unless that board down there has something to do with the heater and that Crafty nifty little cable that they have in there. A cable right there. I'm not going to touch it just in case it's live. I don't, this is 24 volts, but I don't fancy getting electrocuted today. Hmm. So, yeah. Nifty little camera. <clears throat> and there is the picture on the screen we can see I tell you what we will 
that camera is not far we'll try we'll zoom in on that and see how we go okay where is it there it is we'll go full zoom in on it or 30 plus the digital zoom And that is full zoom. I suppose the background noise could be taken out, but and that is quite a good camera. So now, now I can put the infrared on in a second. That fan is noisy, but you don't hear it when the cover's on, it's silent. Hey, this is belt driven by the way, in case you didn't know, the pan is belt driven. Uh, let's put the infrared on and see what it's like. Oh, big click there. Night mode zero light, so yeah, that's what it looks like on the screen. Let's turn the light off. Mm. This one does not have zoom matching IR, which is zoom matches where it goes brighter, brighter LEDs light up. This doesn't have that, sadly. But that is a view, wow. That is lamp power 100% as well. Basically, it's just like them little infrareds, but well bigger. I don't know if we can try and get them. Oh no, it's too bright. You can kind of see. You can kind of see. But you see, they make these with white lamps on as well. Oh, let's turn them off and just see how dark it goes. That's one mean thing. Oh, yeah. Yep. Day mode. So that's the IR off. Now this one should go to colour now. Eventually. Ah, it doesn't want to go. Okay. We'll just shine some light there. There we go. So yes, it was an interesting camera. I like that as well. A protective sling. I'd always want to know what would happen if the bracket came off, well, if the bracket fell off the wall, we know that that would be neither use nor ornament, because the camera would be totaled anyway. I think that's more if you're putting it up. There is a sticker on the top, probably just says the same as what's in there. But yeah, that is an interesting little thing. Let's just make sure we've not missed anything. Oh. Now that's not for target practice. That is the dip switch cover, which I showed you. Is that fan still going? Is for them switches at the bottom by the flashing green light. Tilt driver, wiper driver. Hmm. Right, so I'll pause this here and we should get the cover on and we should go through the menus. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're back. What took me about five minutes to get them on was literally two seconds for you guys, so that's good. Uh, right. Listen that how quiet that is now. But just uh, Allen keys, and yeah, it's going to need a new umbilical cable because whoever took it down from wherever it came from has cut the cable. Hmm. Not a very wise thing to do. Uh. Oh, now we can test the water, of course. 
Let me just so we can see it, so we're not cheating. Ah, oh, perfect. Now I have my trusty watering can, and no, it's not Rain-X in there, it's just plain tap water. That should simulate a bit of a rainstorm. Let's see the picture. Oh dear, yeah, look at that. Oh dearie me, we got rain on the lens. What are we going to do? Well, with a camera that doesn't have a wiper on, there's not much you can do, I'm afraid. But with this one, if this focuses... Okay, press the button with help. I am pressing it, okay. Ah, there we go. And there you go, get off the lens. Look at that. Mmm, I would love to know what those three dots are around the camera lens. Let's give it another bit of rain. Now let's see what we... Focus. I know it's just water on. It's always wise to put some wax on these lenses as well. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. I think this is IP67 or IP68 weatherproof rating. The IR pods have a life expectancy of 50,000 hours. Wow. The camera probably wouldn't even last 50,000 hours knowing anyone's luck. Right. Now for the menus. <clears throat> yes, on this camera you have to log in. It's a Revision RVX30 slash IR slash W. IR infrared, W wiper, and it's the Red Vision X series 30 times zoom. Alarm not detected, address 1. So the password for this is not really a password, 999900. And at the bottom, <coughs> it should come up technician logged in. Yep, technician logged in. So now we have access to them. Night mode, camera settings, as you can see, digital zoom, yes, iris key usage, that's for the night profile switch, the infrared. This camera actually has crosshair on. Hmm, like a compass on the screen, but I don't like that, so I have it off. This one also has a privacy mask. We'll set one. So, mask one not set. Now it's saying to move camera into position. So we will. Where is the window? There we go. Oh. Then we wait 10 seconds. Set mask one, there we go. Now, you can set the zoom threshold, that's 0%, all the way to 100%. You can even choose a mask color. I'd have it black. And you can edit the mask so we can clear it. Go to yes, exit. So that's cleared the mask. You can have alarm sensors fitted to it. You got your presets, preset speed, mine's on 100%. You got your tours, tour one is a default, all your presets will be saved to there. You can edit tour, edit positions, dwell is 10 seconds, 
tour speed is 100%. I love this bit. You can have the tour order standard, ping pong, or random. It'll just go to any random preset. Ping pong, it'll go 1, 2, 3, and then 3, 2, 1. Or standard, which is just 1, 2, 3. Going into, oh, and home restore is restore to number one. That's tour one. Home restore mode is fixed tour. You can change that to timed preset, time tour, off, fixed preset, or fixed tour. We have it on fixed tour, and the home restore delay is off. What else do you have? Joystick, your joystick curve. Best to leave it on that. Your zoom ratio. Joystick speed is 100%. Your wiper, which we've just seen. It will automatically time out after 10 minutes. You have pan limits, which we don't need to use. Tilt limits, which I will now set to yes. Shortcuts. Wiper shortcut, wash shortcut, day night shortcut, night profile shortcut, datum check shortcut, and alarm silence shortcut. Right, let's get to um, <clears throat> the interesting bit. Datum check, it's recommended to leave it in the 24 hour at midnight operation. The camera orientation in this case, it's hanging. You can have it hanging with the arms out, which these arms are actually in. They wear out when I bought the camera, but I put them back in. Uh, you can have it upright. If it's on a pedestal mount on top of a pole, you can cantilever the arms 15 degrees forwards and have it upright with its arms out. Well, we'll just leave it hanging for now. Installation date, you can set a date when you've installed it in your property. You and clear the settings, clear everything and even reboot. Diagnostics. RAM OK, flash OK, config OK. Everything's good. White lamp not fitted. IR lamp off. Fan on, heater off. PCB temp is 43 Celsius, wow. It's been on 1 hour 25 minutes. The camera is a Sony EV5500. And the temperature of that is 50. In the UK we have it on PAL. In America they have it on the other one. Uh, telemetry. Motors. Event log. And this camera was built on 17th of December 2015, so it's just four years old. And that's telling you the voltages. Total hours 26,486 hours. The amount of times it was rebooted, the start 84 times. Total errors, 38. Heater use hours, 8,347. IR lamp hours, 3,648. And white lamp hours, zero, because it's not fitted. That's how many logins you've done. Installer is the technician. This one's only had 20. <laughs> Quite a lot of helpful information. You can change your display. Camera titles show presets during tours. Your passwords, you can change them and lock presets if you want to. 
language, I take it that's France, Dutch, Espanol, that's Spanish, Portuguese, and English. And daylight saving is set to auto. And here you can enter your date and time. What oh, was it, 11 o'clock already? Wow. So yes, I actually have the datum check set to preset 9 as a shortcut. So we should do that twice and just show you on screen and then second off screen what it does. So when at midnight it will do this. What it's doing now is it's checking its alignment to see if it's being moved. Also checks the wipers working. And it goes back exactly where you left it. And if it's on a tour while it's doing it, which we'll put it on tour now, it should come up tour restored now. Yep, there we go. So it's on preset one now, so let's do, uh, oh dear me, uh, clear. It's quite quick. Uh, right, now we'll show you it there. Doing the date and check again. And it goes to preset three. That will go off at the bottom in a minute. It's checked itself and decided to go to preset three. Now four. They are pretty fast. So yes, so that is going to be the end of this video for today, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and we shall see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this.